Hi makers, I'm Didier from id 2 3 d and today I'm going to show you how to use a different extruder for infill and add custom supports with Cura 2.6. For this tutorial, we are going to print the low poly dog from Floalistic. You can check out his channel, he's an awesome designer. I want to print it in bronze fill, which is quite an expensive filament. Here we see that the print will use 69 grams of bronze fill or around 9 meters. So to save filament, I will print the infill with PLA and the walls in bronze fill. Let's see how to do this. I will first open my cube model, then I can select per model settings. You can check out my previous video for more information about this setting. In the dialog, I will select several infill options, the density, the pattern, wall line count, infill mesh and infill layer thickness. Then I tick the infill mesh checkbox. Remember that this specifies that the object is considered as infill only. I also set the model to be printed with the second extruder, which has PLA. Now let's see the dimensions of my model. It's 116 mm high. We will make our cube 120 mm high to cover it all. Then I put the cube over the model and I make sure not to leave anything outside. The X-ray vision can help for this. Let's see how it looks like in layer view. We can now speed up the print process, as it takes 8 hours and 24 minutes. First we can remove the walls, as it's only for infill, we can make it behave like regular infill. Now it only takes 6 hours and 55 minutes. We can also change the infill pattern, I like the triangle infill. Next thing we can do is change the infill layer thickness. This has to be a multiplier of the layer height. Here we are printing the model in 0.2 layers, so we can put 0.4 or 0.6. 0.4 seems safe enough, so I'll do that. This means that the infill will be printed every 2 layers. This makes the print now last for 6 hours and 2 minutes. Another thing we can do is change the infill line width. I'm using a 0.8 core on the Ultimaker 3. So let's put 0.75 mm. We win another 20 minutes. One last thing we can see when looking at the material color view in layer view is that the second core is also printing top and bottom layers. We don't need that, so let's set them to zero. Now the print takes only 5 hours and 13 minutes and we are using half of the bronze fill than before, but we still have a strong print. Next part is the support. This model requires some support for the dog's head. Let's see how it looks like with supports activated. From my experience, the two support structures under the body are not needed, and I want to make sure that the head is well supported. So, I would like to add some custom supports only for the head. To do this, I imported my cube again and scaled it to fit under the head. I'm going to place it where I want and disable support generation. If I select the model, we can see I added one custom setting in the per model settings dialog, which is called support mesh, and that it is ticked. In the layer view, we can see that this part is going to be printed with the second core and that it's considered as support, as it appears in blue in the layer view. That's all you have to do. Now, I will bring back my infill mesh cube to print the infill with PLA2.
As you can see, the supports and the infill are printed with the second core. Let's print it on the Ultimaker 3. For the custom supports, you could also import the model in your CAD software and design the supports around it, then save them as separate STLs. This would make the support easier to place. Here you can see the result just after the print. As you can see, the retraction settings could be improved a bit. Then after some cleaning, a bit of sanding and polishing, this is how it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it useful. Don't forget to leave a comment, like and share the video. If you have questions on Cura or want some other tutorials, please tell me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Thanks for watching, keep on making and see you soon.